what's happening on YouTube, Paul Cloud Chasing Cycles back today for another review. Sorry I've been away for a while, uh, family holiday and some work commitments and stuff hasn't helped matters. But today we're doing a review from the new shop in Bangor. So we are, so if you want a wee quick blip round. All our samples. So yeah, well kitted out. But today we're going to do a review on the new Cooper Primus. So we are. Um, been playing with it there the last few days, get the grips with it and stuff before I've done the review. So I'm well happy with it. So I am. One or two wee flaws that I've found, but everything else makes up for it. So what we'll do is we'll dive down, take it up close personal look at it, come back, talk on it. Cheers. So here's the box guys. Front of the box has a picture of the device. Cooper Primus KP 300 TC. Cooper, nothing. Barcode. Scratch and sniff all your codes and stuff, color, blah blah blah. And you've got some information on the back. Specification and size, weight, material zinc alloy, output power 1 watt to 300 watt. Your cautions and QR codes. Box pulls out of the sleeve, like such. And it's like a little drawer. Get your bath salts. Customer card. battery card that I love what Cooper always does now. It's going to be a bit of battery safety. And then the user manual. I would advise to look, I'm going to look at the manual because there is a wee bit of functionality you need to learn. the device it's self reminds me of um, like the Dick Tracy walkie talkie I always remember Dick Tracy that kind of thing it does smudge up around here it's more like chrome but apart from that it feels solid and the door is a bit loose a wee bit looser than what I would like that's the only problem I've found so far. If you compare it to the Cooper Plus or the Cooper Mini, the door was pretty solid. Yes, you could do that, but it wasn't that pliable. So it wasn't. Um, fire buttons, nice and clicky. Up and down buttons, clicky again. So, 510 pin. Is it protruding? find out. Spring loaded. Yes, and it's got a very good throw on it. So we like that. Put the door off. It's a parallel as we can see. All positives up. So get our batteries. 
Now the battery bay is tight guys, so if you're going to put it in at an angle like such, if you can get the focus sort of here. You're going to go in an angle like such, it's not going to go in, you literally have to have it perfectly flat and it just pops in. So that's my only two qualms really with the device is the door and the battery bit. It is tight. Ribbon over. Door. We're ready to rock. Nice bright large screen. So that's five clicks on, five clicks off. I'm sorry to lock. One, two, three into your menu and you scroll through as such fire button so you can change from temps to watts memory all that good stuff leave it for a second Comes back out of it, three clicks again. And Magic Soft, Normal, Hard, Max. Leave for a second. And then the down button and the power button brings you automatically into that as a quick setting and the up button and the power button brings you into your modes for quick setting as well. So there are your memories. You know what I mean? So it's pretty easy and it's the usual sort of Cooper style. So there's your coils. You know what I mean? So stainless steel, nickel, titanium. You mean stainless steel? So all the usual. What I like about it is this function. It tells you what your batteries are sitting at. So that is pretty damn good. That's what I like to see. So we'll stick a tank on it and come back up and vape on it, talk a wee bit more about it, all that good stuff. Hey guys, so we're back up. Um, that was the mod up and close. The screen does look more complicated than it is. It looks more like say an iPhone screen and stuff like that there. It is the basic Cooper layout that they had on Cooper Plus and all, just a different screen. So you can get through all your functions more or less the same way, especially if you use one of those other devices. Now, I've stuck on it my Smock G4, starting off at 90 watts. Having a quad stainless steel, um, it's reading out at a 0.1 dead. So it is, so it is very, it's a very accurate device, so it is. Um, like I say, it's nice and solid. The only two problems I had with this device was the door being very loose and the battery bay being very tight. The battery bay makes up for the door being loose, so you don't have to worry about your batteries falling out in a hurry, you know what I mean? So that's good in that way. So bump up. Um, I had this at 300 watts yesterday. Um, anybody that's on any of the the, the, the NI vaping community group would have seen that. 
Um, so we'll go up to 150. It is a really fast scroll, guys. I meant to actually show you that in the up close, so we'll try and do it here. There's one watt. Three hundred watt, just like that. So it does make a pain if you're trying to get to a specific watt. You have to sort of stop every now and again. Before you get too carried away, right? One hundred fifty watts. Oh, I love that juice. Oh, no. Slaughter pop, great weight from Lost Art. Awesome. 25 quid for 120 and bill. You can go buy that too, and you need that kind of juice for this tank. Oh, it just guzzles it. Awesome. I have that on Magic Minimum at the minute. Magic Soft. Magic Normal, I'll leave it up. Awesome flavor. Go up to 200. Two hundred watts. Amazing. And it, it, it you can feel it's giving you that what each so you can. Um, anybody who watched my review for the G4, I had it up to 200 on the Relo and I could just pff, puff on it, no more, whereas this here, because it's parallel, you're getting that nice flavour and you're getting the wattage working properly. 250. It definitely works guys, um, like I said it's robust, you, you're not going to worry about breaking this device in a hurry, it is a nice solid round device, all day you can try it, it's not too heavy as well, yes it's beefy, yes there's a bit of weight, you get three batteries in there guys, it's going to give you that weight, and it's a zinc alloy. So, final hit, 300 watts, wish me luck. <laughs> and there you go, 300 watt hit. So, it works. I don't know how many times I can say it, it works. It's an all round good device. And at the price as well, I mean, we're doing it £70 with three batteries, three 18650s. So you can't go wrong with it. It's a nice, solid, all around good device at a good price. I mean, where else would you get it? So, guys, this was Paul Cloud, Tears and Sagas. If you like what you see, please thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, guys, keep it lit.